I almost protested the war in the beginning. Almost. Until I saw what happened to them Dixie chicks. I said, fuck that. If they'll do that to three white women, they will tear my black ass to pieces. I don't want to hear that shit. Yeah, man, they would. But I'm like, for real, why, why you care so much what the Dixie chicks say? It's not like they political scientists or nothing. They just bitches that can sing good. To, you know what I mean? Stop worshiping celebrities so much. Just don't listen, pay attention. I remember right around September 11th, uh, Ja Rule was on MTV. That's what they said. They said, we got Ja Rule on the phone. Let's see what Jaws' thoughts are on this tragedy. Who gives a fuck what Jaws Rule thinks at a time like this, nigga? This is ridiculous. I don't want to dance. I'm scared to death. I want some answers that Jaws Rule might not have right now. You think when bad shit happens to me, I'll be in the crib like, oh my God, this is terrible. Because somebody, please, find Jaws Rule, get hold of this motherfucker so I can make sense of all this. Where is Jaws? Add me, Ja Rule. I don't even know why people listen to me. I'll say anything, nigga. I've done commercials for Coke and Pepsi. I don't give a fuck what comes out of my mouth. I just say what it takes. Whatever it takes, that's what I'm saying. If you want to know the truth, can't even taste the difference. Surprise! All I know was Pepsi paid me most recently, so it tastes better. It's pretty much how the game goes. I'm just being real, man. It's too much goo gagging over celebrities. People don't know what's fake and what's real anymore. That's why Bill Cosby got in trouble. Look what happened to Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby said some real shit and the whole world freaked out on him. For what? For having an opinion? Just because he was selling pudding pots for the last 40 years, people forget that he's a nigga from Philly in the projects, and he might say some real shit from time to time. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. I spoke at my old high school, and I told them kids straight up, if you guys are serious about making it out of this ghetto, you got to focus, you got to stop blaming white people for your problems, and you've, you've got to learn how to rap or play basketball or something, nigga, you're trapped. You are trapped. Either do that or sell crack. That's your only option. That's the only way I've ever seen it work. You better get to entertaining these white people, nigga. Get to dancing. Go on out there and be somebody. I just hope they listen. <laughs> this shit is ridiculous. People worship television. They worship this shit. You know, like, if you watch a movie, right? Say you're watching a movie, and one character says to another character, say, hey, uh, what's your number, man? What's the other character always say? Five, 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 five. You know why we gotta do that? Because stupid-ass people go to the movies, and then go home and try to call the characters that they just saw. Hello, is Indiana Jones here? No, motherfucker, he's fake. It's not his number. And to be honest, this is the worst time in history to be a black celebrity. Fuck, they locking all our stars up. It's hot right now for black celebrities. I knew it was bad when Kobe got in trouble. I said, this is a rap for us. He's one of the most wholesome dudes we had. They lock him up and everything. And Kobe kept it together. Thank God he, he held his game together because if he was cracking under pressure and getting like six points a game, the whole L.A. would have been like, that nigger is guilty. <laughs> Kobe was playing his ass off. He was playing like his freedom depended on that shit. You see this motherfucker in them games, this nigga's trying to beat that case on the court. That nigga... <laughs> Stop. Like the judge threw him the ball, like, play for your freedom. If I could talk to Kobe, I'd be like, just relax, you'll be fine, man, because the public is still giving Kobe the benefit of the doubt. He's one of the few black celebrities that get that. Not because he's a celebrity, more because, you know, the girl showed up with eight different Siemens to the investigation. You can't do that. That's seven too many. That's a lot of semen, man. This bitch got Noah's Ark in her panties. 
Like, what, you trying to recreate humanity or something? She's a collector. She got every unsolved mystery. The answer might be in this girl's pain. That's the first place I look. OJ's other gloves in there. Bigfoot's footprint. Three CSI reruns is in that motherfucker. <laughs> we got the most diabolical draws ever. Fuck being a celebrity. It's not the time to be a black star. They locking all our stars up. Black celebrities, this is a witch hunt for us, man. God damn it. It's all OJ's fault. <laughs> Ever since OJ got away, white people have just been locking up our stars one by one. It's true. And it's all, it's not even OJ's fault. It's our fault. We celebrated too openly when OJ got acquitted. We should have been quiet about that shit. As soon as they're not guilty, niggas just dancing. Oh. <laughs> oh, in your face, nigga, in your face. It hurts, don't it? It hurts. Burns, doesn't it? Nigga? Ooh, that justice system burns, doesn't it? Welcome to my world, motherfucker, all that shit. White people wanted OJ's ass bad. City of LA spent over $12 million just trying that motherfucker. And the look on white people's face when he was acquitted, priceless. <laughs> priceless. And that's why I don't trip off of being a celebrity. I don't like it. I don't trust it. There's one minute they all love you, and the next thing you know, you're in front of that courthouse dancing on top of a car just trying to figure out what the fuck happened to you. <laughs>